When we're talking about breathing and bracing for the deadlift, it's actually a little bit different than movements like the squat and the bench press because the squat and the bench press, they have generally three phases, which I went over in the previous video. They have phase one, which is the initiation, phase two, which is, which is the eccentric or muscle lengthening portion, and then phase three, which is the concentric portion. The deadlift, on the other hand, in my opinion, it really only has one phase of actual lifting, which is the concentric portion, where you're just lifting the weight up. Now, I prefer to split it into two phases, which is the initiation or the, uh, the setup, if you will, where you're setting up the pull, and then the concentric portion. The eccentric portion, I don't really count, because I really just want to get it to the floor as quickly as possible. I don't want to take too much time with it in our hands. Um, so, to help explain this and the difference between the setting up for the squat and the bench press versus the breathing and the bracing for the deadlift, I'm going to go over what I do right now. And it's important to understand there's really no right or wrong with this, it's a lot to do with personal preference. Um, so, I'm going to go I do what I do first, and then I'll give you another option as well. So, starting with the first phase of the deadlift, which is the setting up portion, when I come up, I prefer to get my air, take that really big breath and brace before I even touch the bar, okay? So the, the two major questions are, the major uh, dispute when we're talking about the deadlift breathing and bracing is, should you get all of your air before you get to the bar? Or should you get your air once you're actually down here? You know, when should you be taking that big breath? And I prefer to do it before I even touch the bar, before I even set up. Um, and that's because I really like to take advantage of the stretch reflex, and once I get down, I don't want to spend a lot of time down at the bar. I want to get down and up as quickly as I can. All right, so when I go for the deadlift, I'll get my feet in position, and I'm using the sumo stance right now. I'll get my feet in position, I'll take a really big breath right up here into my belly, and then fill up the rest in my chest, get up here, come down, and as soon as I'm down, I'm still holding my breath, I'm squeezing, I'm bracing my abs as though, as, you know, as I said in the previous videos, as though you were trying to poop, or as if someone was gonna hit you in the stomach, what you would do, you'd brace your abs really hard. Right? So I'm up here, take my full breath, come down, and without any hesitation, boom, I initiate the lift, and the whole time I'm squeezing my abs. So here, big breath, squeezing, squeezing, I'm squeezing my abs, squeezing my abs, squeezing my abs, come right up, and I'm still squeezing, 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 that's when you forcefully exhale, and let out, the, let out your, uh, let out, stop bracing. You don't have to stop bracing, but that's when you forcefully exhale at the top of the lift. That's how I prefer to do it. Other people, and people who tend to stay for longer in the hole, which is totally fine, what they'll do is they'll set up here, they'll get in their position, they'll come down to the bottom, and then from here, this is when they'll take their really big breath of air into their belly, into their chest, and then they'll initiate the, li the lift. And it's not bad, it's not wrong, it's just a different way of doing things. Personally, because I like to get down and up as quickly as I can, it doesn't make sense to try and take my breath once I'm down here, because that's too many things going on at once. Other people, they're totally fine staying down here for a couple seconds, staying down here for a couple seconds, really getting ready, then taking a big breath, and then lifting. So what I would do is I'd find out what works best for you. I'd figure out, do you want to stay in the hole a little bit longer? If you do, it would probably be wise to take your breath while you're already down there. If you're like me and you prefer to get in the hole really quickly and then get out really fast, then you might want to take your breath before you actually go down. So that's the difference between the deadlift and the squat and the bench press. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you have any questions or comments, leave them below.